Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. Today I'll be teaching you guys on how to monetize your Instagram account. Okay, I'll be sharing a few methods and a few common ways on how Instagram account is built and how you can go out and monetize your Instagram accounts. So here we go. This is a free course. Okay, I'm not gonna sell anything on this channel for now until I grow big enough, but <laughs> then I'll, I'll cover how to monetize your YouTube channel. Yeah, this is a brand new channel. I used to have a, an I used to have an old channel yeah decided not to use it anymore so this is my new channel so just gonna cover everything in a specific niche everything about online and everything about making money okay so here we go monetizing your Instagram account a course by digital rebel but before I start okay if you guys find it helpful anyway throughout the video be sure to hit subscribe down below it really helped me out a lot for my new channel and also remember to hit the like button okay because it's important because the more people will find me the the bigger our growth simple as that yeah so here we go Monet how to monetize your instagram account okay prerequisites to have before you think about monetizing your instagram account of course when you want to sell something on instagram be it advertising space or be it your own product you need to have people to sell to correct you can't open up a shop and say hey i'm gonna open up this shop online and then there's no one to sell to right there's zero visitors equals zero sales equals to you are losing money because you have to pay for the for the web hosting the Shopify service or whatever where you decide to monetize your account and you'll be losing money in the end or, or worse you'll be you'll, you'll be wasting time which is more valuable than money okay so prerequisites have a fan base and influence okay this is a very uh, I would say very subjective topic yeah because fan base is largely dependent on how engaged they are and how strong they are if you have a thousand followers and all of them talk to you every day they reply to you every day you can make great money from that thousand followers very simple as that but if you have 1 million followers example only 10 people talk to you only 10 people comment on your po on your post okay so this is talking about dedicated and engaged followers yeah cover both thing at once 1 million only 10, 10, 10 people talk to you right it's, it's as good as having 1000 followers but everyone of them talking to you okay but of, of, obviously that's not the case not all of your thousand followers will be engaged and talking to you because they, are, they might be from different time zone they might not always see your post because of the algorithm and that kind of thing yeah so expect a lower engagement rate yeah i would say anything above 10 percent is about normal 10 percent is about normal if you have like a 30 40 percent it's great you are on a great start and you can monetize your account very well in the future yeah as long as you grow the numbers consistently and what do i mean by that let's say if you have thousand followers now your engagement rate is 40 right if you grow to ten thousand followers you can keep it up to at 40 even better if it drops to 30 it's still good because it's higher than average of about 10 percent engagement rate okay so this is a very very good metric or metrics you can use in order to see how good your instagram account is how do you count engagements right very simple uh, you can do it very simply by do, um, using the like function while uh, they might be removing the like function soon they still have it right now right so you can use it to measure your engagement example you have a thousand followers if each of your posts has more than 100 likes i think you're pretty safe for now okay just make sure it doesn't drop below the 10 percent mark okay example if you have hundred thousand followers what's a good amount of uh, likes to have 10k right but obviously as your as your page grows bigger okay the amount of engagement decreases so that is also a very subjective topic but you will know you will know yourself if your audience are engaged whether or not they comment on your post whether or not they reply to you like like your post send direct messages to you and stuff okay so use your gut feeling this one is very very easy to tell if you post every day you have no likes no comments everything you have no people that always come back to your post right if you have a good instagram account you always see the same few comments the same few people talking about your post and then from there it will help attract new people to come in and join your community correct i hope you guys understand what i mean yeah and so that's basically the basis of it to have a good engagement to have a good fan base and to have a good influence in your niche because ultimately at the end of the day if your niche is example fitness niche right you want to sell to people who love fitness example okay you do not want to be seen as knowing nothing about fitness because they wouldn't want to talk or buy a product from 
a fitness guy who knows nothing about fitness, right? They would rather go to someone who knows more about fitness, right? So very simple, a quick example, okay? You have to have influence in your niche as well, whichever niche you're going into, okay? This is also a bit different. I'll go into that later on, on how you can be multi-niche, okay? So typical Instagram sales funnel. Okay, this is a typical Instagram sales funnel. What you, what you see is different things going on over here. Yeah, this is the cold leads. What we call cold leads in the marketing terms. Yeah, cold leads meaning it's like cold water, right? You want to get them to, okay, this is like hot. Example, co contacted and purchased is hot. I'll just keep it as that to keep it simple, right? You want to bring your cold leads, fresh people to purchase, right? You have to slowly warm them up, like how you're heating up a... a, 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 a tap water right boiling a tap water to make yourself a coffee right so cold leads cold leads are people who saw your page very simple cold leads in instagram are people who saw your page or saw your post okay simple as that warm warm is people who started following your content example they follow your page okay or in facebook they like your page some people still say it's cold but to keep it simple, okay, and to keep not, not keep it confusing, this is how we categorize them for today. In the future, when we go more advanced, then we'll change the terms accordingly, okay? So, we'll use these terms for today. Cold are people who saw your page, saw your content. Warm are people who started contacting you, okay? I, I mean, warm are people who followed you, sorry. And hot are people who contacted you. Contacted, meaning direct messages. Hey, this is a great product. How much is it? Can I have a discount? Those are hot leads okay if you give them a discount highly high chance they will buy high chance the water will boil right so you slowly warm them up right and this is how you warm them up is through content strategy okay which i will cover in the future video example okay this example the first one is usually introduction to your product okay this is a very very simple online funnel introduction to your product why they need it why they should buy it okay and uh basically anything else uh, like give them a like a, what you call that uh offer that they cannot turn down yeah so basically building the leads and introducing different parts of your product example again introduction of a product okay you can introduce the simple function of uh this water bottle can keep your water warm okay and then even better not only it can keep your water bottle warm it can also Play music, example, an MP3 player, uh, a Bluetooth speaker, water bottle, and then people say, "Ooh, not bad, yeah." And then you're going to keep, you're going to keep educating and bringing your audience closer and closer to the purchase. And you, how we can do that is through many, many different strategies, and also giving them uh, discounts. Discounts is one of the most common ways people bring their leads or make their leads warm or hot leads buy their product because over at the contacted section, right? Contacted can mean they go to your website or they have contacted you through direct messages, right? They have visited your website. It means that they are interested in your product, right? The reason they are not buying is because it's either the offer is not attractive is not enough, which is usually too expensive, shipping costs, etc. Or, okay, they thought they are they thought they are coming to look for a, a water bottle that can also be a Bluetooth speaker at the same time on your website. But in the end, when they go to our website, it's actually a water bottle with a Bluetooth speaker, but it is shit. Yeah, it is like a, a very, you can only hold like 100 milliliters of water and they are not buying it. So a lot of factors goes into that, into this hot to purchase part. Yeah, but this is what I will co cover in the future. But this is just a quick overview. Hopefully it's not too, um, how you call it hopefully it's not too confusing for you okay so typically on instagram you'll see three types of instagram account yeah one is those that repost content okay i just pulled this off just now quickly through on instagram.com okay and this is i just quickly go into the fitness niche and i find a few fitness few uh, fitness examples yeah fitness niche okay this is a repost content as you guys can see very co very common okay what you see is they will just post instagram models or guys working out or uh, whatever there's good content whatever that's trending on instagram explore page this is where they will post and what they will post okay to make sure that they keep it up to trend people are following them because the more followers they have the more they can sell that numbers to the followers okay this is repost repost type secondly 
blog okay blog is like a personal blog so example hacks for fitness right you can post different tips and tricks on what you can swap out things for 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 like your daily diet and stuff or even blogs like travel blogs okay some people run their own travel blogs but this is also in conjunction with personality right so it's a bit a bit of crossover there but get a rough idea yeah so repost blog and personality personality is a very um broad term and the reason i choose to use it as personality is because personality there's a lot there's like example in the sneaker niche right there's a guy called yeezy buster right he's also a personality and also he and what he does is he finds people wearing fake yeezys or fake sneakers and then they post them and then he posts them on his instagram right so it's personality slash blog as well so this blog again the only difference i would say is blog a general blog like this compared to this this one usually you don't know who's behind it right a personality slash personality blog you will generally see people behind it like this is a girl's instagram account you can see a post you can see her stories right and this one nothing right so very very simple example on the three types of instagram account right and then with these three types of instagram account okay these are the three ways i'm going to share with you how you can monetize your instagram account be it is it a repost type of instagram account be it is it a blog or be it is it a personality right you are influencer some people call it influencer yeah this is how you can instagram monetize your instagram accounts number one sponsored post and shout outs okay once you achieve an influencer level be it as a reposter as a blogger or as a personality right or personality influencer lah, okay you could leverage on your influence in the niche right to s promote brands example okay very quick example people will go to gym fitness freaks to promote fitness products right because he has 1.7 million followers right so the quickest way to promote to many many followers is to find this kind of pages right to pay them money i, I don't know how much it charge example 500 dollars right to do a 24-hour post on his page to promote a workout program to promote a diet program to promote personal coaching personal fitness train training programs okay etc even products okay like yoga pants workout clothes right so this is how someone can monetize the first way, lah, sponsored posts and shoutouts, okay? So once you establish a thought leadership or a big number of followers in your niche, okay, this is where you can Instagram, monetize your Instagram for a profit, yeah? Very, very quick and simple, monetize your Instagram for a profit, okay? Sometimes brand partners and influencers for sponsored posts that help spread the word about their offering, okay? So basically like what, what I said, right? People will look for you to help spread their brand or spread their offer to your followers okay because they pay you 500 example okay if you generate them if and if you sell a thousand dollar worth of stuff for them right they're gonna look for you again right because you made them 500 dollars they spend 500 to make 500 they profit 500 right and usually right such posts revolve with a product itself and sometimes with a small review but it also depends if a blog usually there's a review if it's a repost it's usually a from what I know, okay, and what I've seen and my experience is usually offer based. Yeah, so like 50% off, use this code right now, and then this is how they usually work with this kind of um, pages. Okay, this kind of pages usually, again, with an offer as well, like 10% off, 20% off, or free shipping, and then with a short personal review. And then with this kind, same thing, okay, same thing as the blog 10%, 20% off, use my code, and yeah to have a leave review like usually you'll see like, hey i love this product so much so comfortable right and then they share it on their post you can buy it over here da, da, da. yeah very very simple okay second way is affiliate marketing affiliate marketing sometimes okay will cross over with sponsored posts and shout outs okay and one of affiliate marketing is good because it is one of the easiest way to monetize instagram or your instagram account yeah is to buy becoming an affiliate marketer Okay, what is an affiliate marketer? If you look at YouTube example, YouTube, okay, you see a lot of people unboxing products or reviewing products, right? And they tell you, hey, if you want to buy this product, use the link down below in the video description. Use my affiliate link. Sometimes they say it's affiliate link, sometimes they don't, right? But usually it links to Amazon. And then in Amazon, when you buy the product, okay, mm -hmm. they will get a small commission and a small cut, okay? And that is how they earn money. And that's how you can monetize as well, okay? So again, percentage of revenue generated, okay? Usually, sometimes it's about 1%. 1%. That's the usual rate, okay? So let's say you sell 
product of a hundred dollars you will get one dollar okay this, and this is if you're starting out depending on the website as well sometimes you get a very good rate sometimes you get a very bad rate it depends on what kind of product you're marketing as well if you're marketing a digital product usually the margins are higher and you also get a better um, commission lah, basically so example how this one links back okay affiliate marketing okay example yeah how how this one can also work with sponsor and shout out post example just now our example personality a brand looks for a personality or a blog or a repost account to promote their product right and then they will say hey i'm going to pay you instead of paying you five hundred dollars i'm going to pay you a hundred dollars instead okay and what i'm going to do is for every sale of the product i'm going to pay you ten dollars and this is another model as well so not only you get paid to post on your account either one of these accounts you also get paid per sale right so it depends on the good or bad right if your account has very low engagements rate and then this will be a very bad model for you but if your account has a very very high engagement rate like usually this is will be like a personality or a blog usually has a higher engagement rate okay they will have a lot of a uh, commission okay because they will sell a lot more products compared to a repost now i'm not saying repost cannot sell products but based on historical data of what i know okay repost usually lose out to personality right because personality there's a person behind it to back up the brand right a repost account they would obviously people who follow repost account know it's a repost account right and they usually don't trust the account as much so the trust level is generally slightly lower than blocks of personality right because blocks usually they review products they review this they review that right and then if they review this new yoga pants it gives a good review right there's a good backup you know you throw this block for a while you're more likely to buy it compared to when you know it's obviously an ad on the repost account right so pros and cons pros and cons yeah and yeah so affiliate marketing is a generally sometimes a good starting point let's say if you are in a fitness niche as well example yeah you want to start making affiliate marketing money but no people come to you very simple you can just go to amazon sign up for amazon affiliate and then from there what you can do is you can create uh or find products that is related to your niche and start post posting on your instagram account and that is where you can start earning small little bit of money but the big money comes in method number three selling your own products okay this is a very very profitable and very lucrative way of making money on instagram okay so if you have a strong personal brand okay and you don't want to always keep monetizing others people product right because there's two cons to this yeah because if you depend on others okay when they not every day there will be people come and look for you to to promote their product right to be honest right think about it yeah there's only so many companies out there for a, f a fitness company right they will find you every day yeah so sometimes you know a good month you'll do 10 promotions sometimes on a bad month you do two or three promotions and your income is very inconsistent so if you want a consistent income sell your own products products very generic term again can be online product you sell your own clothing brand very very common sell your own merchandise or you can also sell your online digital products, sell courses, which is you see a lot of people selling nowadays, right? They sell their own investing courses, how to make money online courses, drop shipping courses, yeah. And talking about drop shipping, another way is you can also drop ship. Okay, drop ship your merchandise is also possible. You can also drop ship um stuff from China, yeah. Very, very common, but I'll cover in the next video if I want to cover it, yeah. And obviously you want to sell items related to your niche example okay if you're a personality right it's so very very easy to start your own brand because you can be the ambassador ambassador behind the brand itself you don't have to if you are a repost account there's no personality or person influencer behind the account right and usually brands sell very well when there's an influencer behind it right so if you're a personality you start your own product let's say you start your own fitness merchandise right or your whatever you start your own uh, dumbbell brand yeah people are more likely to buy it because they are going to support you because they know you they've seen you on instagram for a long time and once you start your product there will be a number of people that will support you all right and this is where you can really build into a business or a brand right if you sell example workout clothing right it's very profitable long term every few months you can release a new design you can release a new color you can release a, a new a new product like you sell shirts next month you can sell pants next month you can sell yoga pants next month you can sell hats right all around fitness or your brand very very profitable right and lastly i would like to cover that 
for blogs and personality and even repost accounts, right? There's sometimes a bit of crossover. What do I mean by that? There, there will be crossover in niche, right? Personality account, fitness personality can not only promote, okay, can not only promote fitness niche, can also promote example travel, right? Because every everybody who works out once in their lifetime they will of course go and travel, right? At least once a year, maybe. Yeah. Even same thing for a blog, right? You can also review travel uh what you call that uh uh hotels right example because hotels there is gyms right this is just for fitness niche so this is a very very quick example of how you can monetize your instagram account i hope you guys learned something from this okay and yeah if you guys have any questions be sure to let me know down below in the video description i mean in the comment section below if you find this video helpful or anything just give it a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video next week and Hope all of you have a nice day. Bye-bye.